friends welcome to shikshati in this session we shall be discussing some by products of eponymous theorem so let's start now here in this session i am assuming that you have already seen the first session on eponymous theorem which talks about how to find out the lengths of the three medians of a triangle taking that discussion forward now what i have done here is i have just written the same as i had written in the earlier session which is ab whole square if i talk about the sides ab and ac the median that is formed here is ad because of the sides ab and ac so ab whole square plus ac whole square is equal to twice then ad whole square plus uh, we had written earlier was either we write bd whole square or cd whole square but bd since we know that bd is equal to cd then either bd whole square or cd whole square can be written as bc by 2 whole square so let's say this is the first equation that i have taken first equation analogously i have written the second and the third equation as well and what are these three equations these three equations are nothing but uh, the synergy that is drawn between the sides and the the medians which are formed because of those sides now taking this discussion forward if i say adding the three equations which is adding the equation 1 2 and 3 so if i talk about the left hand side what is that that we are going to get on the left hand side of the equation we are going to get twice of the sum of the squares of the three side is what we are going to get right and what is that we are going to get on the right hand side we need to articulate that as well so once we articulate what we are going to get on the right hand side we see that 2 is something that we could have taken common then we get the sum of the squares of the three medians this is the first thing that we write and along with this what do we write we can say along with this we can write down 1/4 of the sum of the squares of the three sides is what we can write we close the curly bracket and then the square bracket now once we equate the lhs to rhs let's see what do we get finally so equating lhs to rhs let us see what do we get finally so we get so two gets cancelled out on both the sides and when you take 1/4 on the other side you get 3/4 of the sum of the squares of the three sides this is you get on one side now this needs to be equated to the remaining thing on the other side so the remaining thing on the other side would be the sum of the squares of the three different medians this comes as a very very handy by product of the discussion on eponymous theorem further for a learner as as we have always been saying you should take this discussion to the next level and how is that that you can take this discussion to a next level is uh, finally i'm just trying to give you some inputs here so i can say that if this triangle abc we know that there are three different types of triangle one is scalene 
the other one is isosceles and the last is an equilateral so when we talk about all the three in that case what are the lengths of their sides and what are their lengths of their medians for example in a scalene triangle the length of the three sides would be unique unique in the sense they'll not be equal to each other hence forth you can say that the length or the lengths of the medians will also be unique they'll not be equal to each other and then analogously we can talk about equilateral triangle since the length of all the three sides are equal to each other hence forth you can say that the length of all the three medians would be equal to each other so the point that you need to discuss here basically is isosceles wherein you can say that if the sides ab and ac are equal to each other so in that case the lengths of the median cf and be will also be the same but in that case the median ad becomes the perpendicular bisector it is not only the side bisector but it becomes the perpendicular bisector as well so you you would see by the end of the session end of this session i have used some further jargons and the final jargon here is bisector so when i use a word like bisector that means if i say a side bisector that means the side let's say in this case if i take the side bc and if i say d bisects point d bisects the side bc what am i trying to convey i'm trying to convey that the point d divides the side bc into two equal parts right wherein the side bisector in this case becomes what the median so if i say the line segment ad bisects the side the line segment bc in that case ad acts not only acts as a side bisector but at the same time we can say that ad is the median as well but when you are talking about an isosceles triangle in that case if you assume that the sides ab and ac are equal henceforth you will say that the lengths of the medians cf and be will also be equal but then finally the side bisector ad which is nothing but the median does not only remain the median it becomes a perpendicular side bisector as well